In today's video of docking, docking bargs. In today's video with the dog barking in the background, we are going to talk about the heater. It's a Truma heater and the HCT. We love it. And we're gonna show you how it works, but you are gonna like and subscribe first. Here we go. Okay, so first things first, we need to turn on the propane. We may have this small, I think it's 11 pound tank or something. But propane's on coming through and then this handy little catch opens up and then we have the on off switch for the trimmer heater so on obviously it comes through here there's a there's vent. a vent here yeah the vent comes out the side so when you see steam don't worry Okay, so here's the Truma control panel for the heater. And you just hold it down to turn it on. I haven't uh, set the time, which is why that said 12.03. So it has different settings. This first one here, and they flash when you're gonna set them. When it's flashing, you press the button, and that means it's off right now. The temperature, and I can turn it up to, let's put it at 70. Okay, and then press it again to get back to the panel. Then. Go to this one. This is the water heat. I'm not going to do that because I'm doing the uh, the regular heat. This one here gives you an option of using propane, mix of propane electric, or just electric. Now we only have propane hooked up, so click that one. And then fans, you can do eco or high, and we'll go with high. So there's three places where the heat's going to come out. One is down here. I can feel the air coming out. It's a little cool right now. Obviously, it has to heat up. The heater has to perform first. So that's coming out of there. Then there's more in the bathroom right here. It's there. Oh, that heat coming out. And then there's another one underneath here. Sorry, under here. Okay. And one thing we found with all these, you know, you ought to be careful if you've got bedding hanging over here. You don't want to cover that up or you're not going to feel the effects. Same with that one. Um, but we found with the door closed, the heat comes up perfectly well, and, and those three are, are more than adequate for what they do. Um, if the heat's not coming out, you do have an option here. We found this. So I think, I believe this flashes until the heat gets up to temperature, and then it's just a constant flame, the one that's flashing right now. Um, if it stops working, or it's not working, you do have an option here, this little wrench sign. I'm not going to do this, but I'll show you. You can click that and you have an option here to, well, actually this has various options. You can do reset. And if you do that, it'll obviously reset the system. But the other option, the other things here you've got, you can change the language. Obviously I'm not going to do that. I speak English and American. Um, you can change the clock time, which I think we have set anyway. Um, but basically, yeah, that's what we have there. There you have it. That's how the trimming heater works. It was awesome. We were experiencing a lot of different weather when we were on our trip out west. We had snow, we had cold nights in the desert, and that heater worked like a champ. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I will do my very best to answer them or to get you an answer. Have fun camping, guys.